हेलो एज वी नो वी आर इन द पार्ट ऑफ मेजरमेंट ऑफ टॉर्क अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग द सेम दैट इज यूनिट ऑफ टॉर्क इज न्यूटन मीटर एंड टॉर्क इज मेजर्ड बाय यूजिंग द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डायनोमीटर्स सो हियर हियर इज द क्लासिफिकेशन एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ डायनोमीटर्स द टाइप्स ऑफ डायनोमीटर्स आर डायन ट्रांसमिशन टाइप बेल्ट एपिसाइक्लिक एंड टॉशन टाइप सेकेंड इज एब्सॉर्शन टाइप विच इज हैविंग अगेन Uh, the two parts that is prony break and rope break next eddy current and the servo control dynamometers the function of dynamometer is to measure the absorbed the power it can measure the friction friction power by knowing the frictional resistance so if you know any kind of frictional resistance then we can measure the friction power so if we determine the torque transmitted then we can determine the power of the engine torque is a crucial part of generating power from the engine Uh, you can consider any engine means car engine truck engine uh, two wheeler engine so the torque is nothing but the crucial part of generating the power from the engine so without torque we cannot calculate the power so as it represents the load an engine and handle to generate the power to rotate the engine so the torque is required to calculate the power so next is nothing but the uh, type it is absorption type so absorption means nothing but uh, it absorbs the power that's why the name is absorption type dynamometer so here is uh, the absorption type dynamometer which is also known as the prony break dynamometer so why prony break is uh, why prony break name is because the prony uh, break prony has designed this uh dynamometer which is used to measure the torque and calculate the frictional power or brake power that's why the name is prony brake absorption dynamometer so figure uh, this is nothing but the figure of prony brake dynamometer so we'll see one by one so this is uh, figure which contains the various part uh, the horizontal bar is known as a lever uh, is known as a lever here uh these are the two rectangular blocks the first one is upper block second one is lower wooden block uh lower wooden block next these are connected by the nuts and bolt arrangement so this is the nut which is shown in dotted line again here is also uh next at the top there are the nuts as well as the bottom there are the nuts Uh, and in between that there is a compression spring so because of uh, by using this arrangement we can uh, tighten and loose uh, or we can loose the nut so that we can get the various uh, brake powers next is at the left side there is a counter weight the counter weight uh, is used as a balancing purpose or it is used to balance this lever so whenever uh, at the time of reading the lever gets unbalanced so automatically because of counterweight the lever is balanced uh, at the right side there are the two stops one is s it, rep uh, it is represented by the uh, letter s the s there is upper stop and this is the lower stop or you can uh, consider as a limits so as there is a uh, unbalancing in the system so this lever can move up and down direction so these are the limits so uh, above above this s or below this s the lever cannot be moved so within this limits the lever can be moved due to the unbalancing principle and this is the weight uh, so at the time of experiment if the lever is unbalanced so we can uh, for balancing purpose or to maintain the constant rotation we have to add this weight okay so this is general arrangement of the dynamometer next is here uh, at the center this is a small uh, this is a small circle which represent the shaft engine shaft uh, engine shaft and second on which the pulley is mounted on which there is a pulley is mounted so this circle represents uh, the engine shaft next next circle represents the pulley pulley so uh, how the power is calculated or how the brake is calculated uh, so we are supposing here that is shaft is rotating in counter clockwise direction so uh, you can start the engine or you can start the setup 
and the shaft is uh, considering the shaft is rotating as well as the pulley is rotating uh, counter clockwise direction the some uh, in some books instead of pulley the flywheel is there so you can write anything in exam pulley or flywheel but what is important it must rotate in counter clockwise direction uh, so as it rotates the counter clockwise direction means uh, anti clockwise direction uh, so here when there we uh, when you get the constant rotation we have to tighten the nut so by using uh, this nut and spring arrangement or a compressing spring arrangement we can tighten the nut so because of tightening what will happen these two wooden blocks uh, two, uh, two wooden blocks uh, may, uh, will making the friction on the upper surface and the uh, lower surface of the pulley so because of that friction the rotating energy is converted into the heat energy and this is nothing but the absorption so as there is a friction between pulley surface upper surface and the bottom surface with re uh, with respect to upper wooden block and lower wooden block the heat is generated and this heat is absorbed that's why it is known as a absorption type dynamometer and because of this the speed is reduced the speed is reduced and the lever gets unbalanced and lever is unbalanced and as it rotates the counterclockwise this lever will move in upper direction will move upper direction to balance this lever we have to add or we have to increase the weight in this manner so once you add the weight what will happen the slowly the lever is balanced and at balanced condition you will get what the constant rotation of the shaft so at constant rotation of shaft we can measure the rpm of the shaft in rps or rpm so rps means uh, revolution per second and rpm uh, that is revolution per minute so we can note down the n and by using uh, this uh, by using the formula power is equal to 2 pi n t by 60 we can calculate the brake power now in this uh, entire setup the question is how to calculate torque so you know the torque equation that is force into perpendicular distance so here which force is to be considered so for ba balancing purpose we are adding the weight in this uh, side so consider the weight or the total amount of weight and the perpendicular distance that is distance from center of the engine shaft to the w so this nothing but the l so this l into w or w into l is nothing but the torque so in this the system torque is calculated by the torque is equal to w into l that is in newton meter and then rotation n so this n can be rps or rpm so uh, by using the for power formula here at last i mentioned power is equal to omega into t so this omega is nothing but the 2 pi n by 60 or 2 pi n in case of uh, uh, 2 pi n in radian uh, per second uh, that is the unit uh, torque so if n is in rps when the n is rpm rpm uh, is in rpm then torque power is equal to torque into 2 pi n by 60 when you are measuring the n in rps the formula becomes brake power is equal to 2 pi n t so this is the difference between when the n is in rps and when the uh, n is in rpm so you can remember any one formula so here work done per minute upon 60 that is 2 pi nt by 60 is nothing but the brake power so this is the simple working construction and working of prony brake dynamometer so here the speed is reduced that's why the name is brake so here brake nothing but the reducing the speed and at uh, once you get the constant speed again measure the rpm and calculate the torque and then calculate the brake power so here i mentioned the advantages it is simple in construction less cost and uh, most important it is suitable for small power transmission so in laboratories uh, we can use the prony brake dynamometers the limitations no not suitable for large powers the cooling system is required because of the friction it generates the heat so cooling is required otherwise uh, there will be the huge damage and the lastly the dynamometer can be subjected to the severe oscillations and because of unbalancing there will be the oscillation that is unbalancing uh, so that it can subject it to the severe oscillation so these are the limitations
I hope you understand this uh, absorption dynamometers. If you have any doubt, you can mention in the comment. Okay. Thank you.